gonna shoot you right down off of your feet. I'd like to welcome everybody to this edition of the Victory Fishing Show. I'm your host, Brian Saunders. Today we're fishing with Captain Mike Truesdale on the Christy K, a 34-foot Albemarle. We are fishing in the 16th annual Kelly Wagner Lady Anglers Tournament, which kicks off the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament each year. It's an all-ladies tournament, meaning that the ladies are responsible for reeling in the fish. The men on the boat can uh, rig the rigs, we can set lines out. In the event that a fish is uh, hooked up, we can clear lines, we can hand the rod over to the, to the lady anglers, and uh, we can gaff any fish that needs to be gaffed. Our lady anglers today are Kelly Truesdale, the daughter of Captain Mike, Brooke, my daughter, Allie Truesdale, Captain Mike's niece, Carrie and Nikki. Now here's the beauty of today's show. Each one of these uh, five lady anglers do battle with what I think is one of the most beautiful fish you can catch anywhere, the dolphin. It's also referred to as uh, Mahi Mahi and the Durango. So uh, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed this edition of the Victory Fishing Show. Fishing for? Fish. Fish? Fish. Do you even know what kind of fish we're wanting to catch today? Nope, we're gonna mama them up. Huh? <laughs> Got a little down east slang going. Yeah. Watch your uh, 
got a king. About mine, Brooke.
Yes. I hope you got every bit of that on video. We put up that on video. Can you buy me? Lord, have mercy. Hey, beautiful. Well, you got the prop on. Oh, yeah. I love you. Yeah. I think it's a dolphin. I don't think it's a dolphin. Really? It's 
silver by the way. Hi, Got an awful lot of blue in it. I'm not sure if that's a dog. Stand down a lot. That's a big. Clear this side. We're good. Brooke, you want me to come down there and gap that fish? Yeah. Ah, ah, thanks, baby. Oh, no love in that one. Oh, I thought get that on video. Yeah. Oh, we got that on video too. Oh. Yeah.
Today's devotion is found in 1 Samuel 16, 7, and it reads as follows. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. You see, today's trip was Brooke's first time ever going offshore and fishing. She had been uh, fishing with me several times right off the beach, three, four miles off the beach, Spanish mackerel fishing, and let me tell you, she has wore the fish out. She can take the fish off the spoons and everything. She, she, can, she can handle it. But today, we were going 50 plus miles offshore, what we call the pig water. And I think once Captain Mike found out that Brooke had never been offshore before, he he and uh, and and first mate Steve Young, I think, got a little concerned. Uh, you see, I think Captain Mike invited Brooke to fish in this tournament with the idea that, uh, or thinking that, well, she's been with her daddy offshore before. Well, once he found out she had never been there, I think he started simply looking at the outward appearance of Brooke. He started seeing Brooke as this little, sweet, beautiful, former Miss Charlotte uh, pageant uh, girl, if you will, rather than looking at her heart. You see, they didn't know Brooke's heart the way I know Brooke's heart. They didn't know about her competitiveness. They didn't know about her, her battle nature and her warrior heart, if you will. But the thing is, I think as the day went along, I think that view of Brooke started to slowly change. And the cool thing is, and, and you may have seen this in, in the video, uh, Steve looks up at Mike up in the tower and he points at Brooke and gives the thumbs up. You see, that was Steve basically saying, hey, this girl's got the heart to do battle with these fish out here. The truth is this, folks, we're all the same. We, we've all, we're, we're no different than, than, than what they did with Brooke. And, and uh, just like scripture says, we all look at the outward appearance of man. We look at their hair, we look at the tattoos, uh, we look at whether they're shaved, unshaved, tall, short, uh, fat, skinny, we, we look at black, white, Hispanic or Asian, whatever. We, we, uh, and the list goes on and on. We look at their, the clothes they're wearing. You know, we look at their outward appearance and we make this judgment based about, uh, on, about them on their outer appearance, their exterior shell, rather than their heart, their inner self, their, their very soul, if you will. So having said that, this is my challenge to you guys, to us, including me, because I'm no different. I'm just as guilty as the next person. But this is my challenge to all of us. Stop. Stop judging people on their outer appearance. And start to listen. Listen to them. Hear their heart. See them in the light of Scripture says, made, created in God's own image. And then, maybe then, we just might see Jesus in them. Well, God bless you. Until next time, we'll see you on the war. Open our eyes to the world at the end of our pointing fingers. Let our hearts be led by mercy. Help us reach with open and open doors Oh Jesus, friend of sinners Break our hearts for what breaks yours